Hey everybody, Clayton here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be checking out the Kuat Sherpa 2.0 2 bike platform rack on our 2020 Nissan Rogue Sport. Now today we are looking at the gray version, but there's also a black version and a pearl version available here at eTrailer. I really do like this bike rack. It offers a lot of really cool features. We'll get to those here in a little bit, but my favorite part is that it's going to work great for carbon bikes. And the reason it's going to work good is our two points of contact are both on the wheels. We're going to have our front wheel strap here and our front and our rear wheel strap back here. So like I said, nothing's going to be touching our frame and that's why it's going to be great for those expensive frame bikes. You're going to be able to take two bikes with you. And this is going to work with a variety of different size tires, as you can see. Our road bike tires will fit there, mountain bike tires will fit right there. And then one thing that I really like about this rack is you can actually tilt it away from our vehicle with our bikes on. A lot of the hanging style racks you have to take your bikes off. In this case you don't. So you're just going to pull out on this lever and the whole thing will tilt away from your vehicle allowing you access to your trunk. Which is going to be really nice because whenever you get to the trail maybe you need to get back here and grab a few things or you go to the store beforehand you have no problem getting in and out of your vehicle. And then due to the construction of it, since it's made out of steel, stainless steel, and aluminum, it's going to be super easy to lift up. As you can see, I can do it with one hand. You're not going to have to stress about getting your bikes lifted back up. Removing our bikes is going to be super simple. We're going to take our wheel strap, push down on our button here, and lift that out of place. And we'll work our way to our front wheel strap. We'll push in on this button, lift up. You want to make sure that you hold onto your bike when you do this. You know, rotate this down and out of the way and lift your bike off. And then when you have your bikes off of there, you want to make sure to fasten your straps. You want to flip this down and then rotate your front wheel hook all the way like so. Then we can get a few measurements for you to help you understand where the Sherpa is going to sit on the back of your Rogue. The closest point from our bumper to our rack is going to be about 7 inches. And then the furthest point is going to be about 31. And then to the ground, we're going to have about 20 and a half. Then if we want to fold that up into the storage position, our closest point is going to be about an inch and a half. And then overall, we're going to be adding about 14 inches to the back of our Rogue. So you just want to keep this in mind whenever you're parking and maneuvering park tight spaces every day. Probably the coolest feature of our Sherpa is going to be the self-tightening cam system. What this does is there's a little ball bearing that goes into your receiver tube with the actual shank of the rack. Then you tighten this down and it takes out all that shake and rattle that you get with a lot of hitch mounted accessories. So it's going to be super livable. It's not going to be making a bunch of noise every day. You won't even know it's back here. Then it is going to work with 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube openings, which is really good because this is a very common size and it does come with a locking pin, so you're not going to have to worry about picking up one of those as well. This is going to be key to like with the locks on our bike rack. And we do have some test course footage for you, so if you want to check that out, feel free. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side-to-side -side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then, onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. Overall, this is a really awesome bike rack. I really like this self-tightening cam system. That's what really sets it apart in my opinion. It's just one of those things that you're not gonna notice it when it's back here. Because a lot of the other bike racks out there make a ton of noise. So having this is gonna be super nice. You're not gonna have to worry about it. Since it locks to your vehicle, it's gonna be protected. Simply just throw it on and leave it on all the time. With that being said, that's going to do it for our look at the Kuat Sherpa 2.0 platform rack on our 2020 Nissan Rogue Sport.